I'm going to tie a Patriot. I've got a size 12 dry fly hook on the vise and the thread that I'll use is a 70 uh, and this is in a red. I'll start the front maybe third of the hook shank here, take enough wraps to get it locked in and then I can tie in my upright wing and for that I'm going to use a calf tail and so I've taken off a clump and I've put it in my stacker. I'll give it a couple of taps to align the tips and at times these um, fibers have uh, some waviness to them and that uh, may impede it from stacking perfectly so do the best you can with that if it doesn't look like uh, deer hair stacked deer hair don't don't worry about it um, I'm gonna measure this out against the gape in the hook and I want it to extend a little past the bottom there and that's how uh, my hackle was measured out and so I want this to extend a little bit higher than the than the hackle. So knowing where I need to tie it in then on the hook shank, I'll hold it on top, take a couple of turns. When I feel it's locked in pretty good, I'll come back through and clip the butt sections at an angle. And that does two things. Uh, one, you can see it helps with the taper here. And two, it'll... Uh, make a good connection to the hook shank. So once it's locked in, I'll hold this up and I'll take some wraps underneath and that will help that wing stand up on its own. I'll split this then into, into two halves and I'll take a, a pass through with my, with my thread to do that and then I'll wrap it around and come back through so taking like a, an X wrap to do it and I'll get good separation here and when I feel like they're well separated then I can take some figure eight wraps through here and that will help them stand up and position them where you want them to be. Then when I'm happy with that, there's probably going to be some cleanup that you need to do. Um, catching some of these fibers is inevitable. And I'm just coming back through and cleaning those up. Now I can tie in my tail and for that I'm going to use just a um, brown hackle and I'm going to take a pretty generous clump here and that will help it help it float. So I'll take them off at a 90 degree angle so that I can uh, keep those tips aligned and I want this to be about a hook shank in length and I'll tie them in where I stop the taper from my upright wing and what that will do is just continue to taper that pattern and again using less less thread more more material that's going to be buoyant and then I'll tie that finish tying that in now for the body I'm going to use um, a crystal flash I'm going to take one you can take two strands if you want you just have to manage wrapping them together and this is in a uh, a blue hue. If you want to use a tinsel you certainly can um, but this crystal flash when you wrap it it'll straighten itself out and you won't have those those kinks to it and it makes a, a nice body material. Again if you want to do two pieces it'll go a little quicker uh, you just have to make sure that you're able to advance both of those up together. Now before I get too far I'm going to bring my thread back and capture it. This has a band to it similar to um, if you're tying a royal wolf or something from the from the royal family and so you can add in a piece of tinsel or I'm sorry a piece of, of floss if you want it but I find it's just as easier and probably looks the same uh, if you just come back with your with your thread. 
So when I'm happy with the band that I made, I'll just bring my thread up behind the upright wing and I'll continue taking my side-by-side -side wraps of this flash. And when I get to my thread, I'll tie it off. And trim. And now for the hackle, I'm going to use a, a furnace hackle and I've sized this. Uh, but I'll pull off some of the bottom bits to tie in. And when I tie this in, I'll set it between the two upright wing so that it doesn't favor a side and then I'll also catch it in the front and then trim the trim the excess here and now I can wrap maybe three or four turns behind the wing And the same in front. And when I get to my thread then, I'll take a couple of wraps on top and hold it up. And adjust my hook slightly just so I have a better angle. And then I can trim. I'll hold everything back to finish my thread head there and I'll put a couple of whip finishes in. And again you're probably likely to catch a couple of these hackle fibers when you finish the fly so I'll come back and just remove those. If you'd like uh, drop a head cement on there to finish. And that is a Patriot.